Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are, Sun Under 4 and USS Wonder. Yes, you can hear the wind is howling, the waves are picking up, and it's, uh, although it's dark, um, it's not too dark, uh, and the wind is blowing. See the speed of the, uh, the clouds. It is a one of those weird days where the wind at sea level is coming almost in our faces and obviously making the waves churn as you can see but higher up the wind is going in the opposite well almost like a crosswind uh, scenario as it goes across very very choppy anyway it's the 15th of August 1942 and uh, things are going okay we are heading down to the uh, Salibis Sea to do a patrol around there to see if we can sink any enemy shipping. Uh, last time out we did okay, we sunk a medium split freighter for 4,000 tonnes um, and the pre prior to that an auxiliary transport for 1,474 tonnes and a medium split for 4,154 tonnes. A large sampan times two for 80 tonnes. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I'll show you on the map where we are. So here we are. So this was our original mission up here. And you can see the ships that we've sunk as we've headed south. And this is the area we're going to patrol in to do some anti-shipping behaviour. Or activity, shall I say, in the Makassar Strait. Yeah. So uh, our original mission, if you recall, we headed up through here. You see the couple of ships that we sunk. Um, and we dropped the infiltrating commando team off at the uh, island there and uh, everything was fine no issues at all <laughs> came down here to do some more patrol and um, hunting and then we've come further south this will probably be our last um, task that we do because we are running low on torpedoes there we well not that bad actually we got four in the forward tubes and one reserve and we got two in the rear tubes with one reserve so we can put up a bit of a fight uh, one thing we do have is some dive plane transmission issues uh, a little bit of damage there uh, probably from the aircraft that attacked last time and while they dropped some depth charges it was didn't think it was that close but it's obviously done a little bit of damage to the aft of our boat uh, so we're gonna have to try and get the repair crews on that and see if we can get the repair before we head um, down to the uh, patrol point Okay, we got enemy fighters coming in. So they're coming in behind. Give us a shout out where they are, boys. Oh. There they are. Oh, we're reloading. Rubbish. Oh, I would have had him nicely cleanly there. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. Wow, they've just both kamikaze into the water. Yeah, there they are, look, they're on the boat. <laughs> they bailed out. What? I don't, did I do some damage to them? And they decided just to plummet in or... You know, did they think trying to hit the submarine was worth wrecking to zero fighters? I think they were zeroes anyway. Well, anyway, two enemy aircraft downed. Right, let's have a quick look. Yeah? Aircraft destroyed. Nakajima Ki-44. Tojo. Brilliant. Well, um, when you we obviously hit one and that crashed and did the, was that flight lead and then the secondary aircraft followed him down and just misjudged his dive? Who knows? Anyway, either way, <laughs> two enemy fighters down and we continue on our patrol. 
Welcome back everyone. Right, not so long later, there is a ship there. Spotted. Um, right, so it's heading north. Uh, what we can do is um, try and get ahead of it and then set up for an ambush. It looks quite a big ship, quite a big merchant ship, so that is going to be quite a juicy target and it looks in first appearances to be on its own, which is perfect for picking off. So yeah, we're going to um, run on a parallel course with north and um, try and get ahead of it and uh, set up an ambush. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're just coming up to 3 minutes 15 now. And um, we'll get a... basically get the speed rating. Right. Lovely. So she has done, in that space of 3 minutes 15 seconds, she's travelled 750 metres, which means she's doing 7.5 knots. Happy days. Right. Um, she's going slower than I thought. So yeah, we have um, shot past her. So if we set a... Uh, predicted course it's probably going to be something like that um, so what we can probably do is change our course accordingly and come to like a 90 degree angle uh, that way it gives us a, a the best uh, sort of angle to shoot and hopefully um, it should be good we are also four nautical miles right let's um close in close the periscope D depth and set up an ambush Okay, there she is. There she is. Um, now, been a bit of a pain because uh, she's changed course, which has caused a bit of a kerfuffle, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, we just have to quickly. No. Ooh. That can be it. Right. Let's get that jotted in. Right, let's get this all sorted. Um, there's moving. Right, so what do we know? Let's lock on. We know she is. Oh, sort the range. Now that we've got the mast height, we'll get that in and we should be able to calculate that okay. There you go. Uh, angle of barrel sword and net speed. We know she's doing 7.5 knots. Right, and angle of bow she is about 110. Actually, she's about 75, 80. Um, so we'll send that into the computer. Right, we've got tube one and tube two. Let's get those open. Uh, tube one, fire. Two, two, fire. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Two great hits, uh, tubes one and two empty and being reloaded. Uh, she's got no um, armament, so um, hopefully two torpedoes should be enough to sink her. If not, we will surface up and uh, try and finish her off with a deck gun. The bridge is well and truly ablaze. Um, and it does look like the stern is starting to lift up. You can start to see 
Oh, she's just sort of sat down again. But you can start to see the p tops of the propeller blades being lifted out of the water as she's taking on water at the front. And the bow is going slightly lower in the water. I think she's a dying animal. And maybe we just need to leave her and let the wounds take her. Um, but yeah, we'll keep an eye on her, just in case we need to pop up and try and sink her with the, the dead gun. Okay, there she is. Right, battle stations. Yes, sir. Uh, let's try and come along and just alongside and see if we can um, sink with the deck gun, please. Um, we need to do it quickly because otherwise, enemy aircraft or maybe enemy ships will be um, flooding to the area. The high waves coming in. Right. What do we reckon? Oh, it's not only really 6,000 feet away, is it? That's uh, well, yards away. Let's get into about 2,000, 2,500. Put a shot there and get an estimate of where we are. Well over there. Let's drop down to fifteen hundred. There we go. Yeah, thanks so, so much. Um, we've got a full crew this time manning the deck gun, so the reload is not incredibly painful for everyone. All right, let's drop that down a bit because you want to get down by the water line. Perfect. Yes, sir. Head slow. What have we got? Is this up? Let's get some uh, armor piercing to sort of really try and punch some holes and do some damage. If we can knock the propeller out, that will um that will make her dead in the water, and then she will lose potential power to other functions like pumps and stuff like that so that's the ideal or I think I might be it you don't come back from an internal explosion like that no red distress flare right stow the deck gun I think she's gone Right, and there's all that's left. There's some burning oil and some debris on the surface. Got some jetsam bouncing around. Okay, um, let's have a quick look. What was that? That was a, a raked bow split freighter. 6,489 tons. Happy days. That's not too bad at all. Glad with that. Um, we obviously just got to this region on the 15th of August. We've still got another five days that we need to patrol here to... Um, mark this um, latest mission task as complete so it's straight five days there we go uh, we arrived today so it's going to be the 20th probably towards the end of the 20th when we are given um, permission to leave this area and from there we'll probably start to head home because uh, we've only got a few torpedoes now I think we've got what let's just double check so three torpedoes in the forward tubes and three in the rear one reserve, so two in the rear, sorry, two loaded in the rear, one reserve, three loaded in the front. Right, so let's continue on then and see if we can hunt any other shipping.
Current debt, four, zero. Welcome back. Right, we just got some near misses with um, the bombs. Incredibly close. Nothing uh, from actually a module wise is damaged. This was damaged before the dive planes, which is making our diving incredibly slow. They're just not fully. Um, they're not fully deploying, which is uh, a bit of a problem. So they're kind of just coming down about. I don't know. Thirty degrees, something like that. And they're just getting stuck there, so that's really stopping us trying, you know, using them to force the nose under the water. Um, we've gone up to 30% hull damage, um, so a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's really from a near miss. And obviously, the concussion from the uh, the shock wave has damaged or maybe wrinkled the uh, the hull surface. But we are, in fact, pretty good. Um, nothing much to write home about. Okay, um, we have had to come out to check out for any damage, but um, it looks like the aircraft haven't left the area and they are still around here. Gotcha. Not so clever now, are you? Heavily burning, he's not going to make it back to shore. Oh, oh I thought it saw something. Yeah, there's something there, isn't there? Yeah, there he is. It is the same one. He's, he was badly damaged. Yes, sir. Hard to port. Yes, Hard to port. He's Hard coming in. Port. Let him get a bit closer. He may try and suicide on us, you see. Seems to be coming straight down. Oh, yes! Multiple fires going on now. Nope, still not dead. Still flying, apparently. Still happily toasty, but surviving. And that glow, I think, is the enemy aircraft hitting the water. Yes, I have. Mitsubishi A6M20. Shot down. Happy days. There we go. Stand down on the uh, the flat gun. An enemy zero shot down. All right, let's continue the patrol. Right, good evening everybody. We have uh, just received a radar contact. We're here on the 16th of August. And um, yeah, we've, we are hopefully, if I, we've understood the radar contact um, yes. correctly. We've um, hopefully on an intercept course. So she's going to be over here. She's going to battle. Um, battle this. We probably don't need to be on battle stations, to be honest with you. That's probably a little bit... I think we're a little further away than I actually thought we were. Stand yes. down. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, she should be over here somewhere, and we Secure should be... from battle stations. Did you see her then? No. Um, we've got her on radar anyway, so we're going to pursue uh, our course at the moment. Hopefully we've got an intercept with them. Um, from the, uh, the radar plot, I'll see if we can get a rough estimate of speed as well. Okay. Night is giving way today. Early morning light is just creeping over the horizon. Can we see her yet? Yes, there she is. And she may have a rear deck gun. You can see a large grey blob on the... Uh, maybe a forward firing deck gun as well. Okay. This is definitely one we need to get in front of and uh, set up an attack with the torpedoes. Well, 
We set up our attack, we're on our predicted course, and there she is. She's headed in a different direction. Now, is that because she's detected us? I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure she's got a rear deck gun. Maybe not on the front, but definitely on the rear. Yeah, having a look here, that's where the speed check was. This was the course she was on. This is where our intercept was going to be. But she's just turned and gone straight. Where's she going? Who knows? So we're going to have to try and break off again and get ahead of her and hopefully um, predict because that is a terrible angle to try and hit her with a torpedo. So we're not even going to bother. And uh, we'll just try and reacquire. Uh, well, I say reacquire. We've already got her acquired. Probably just get ahead of her so we get a bit of chance of um, setting the engagement zone for us so we have the advantage. Okay, we serviced the boat as we got away from her, but unfortunately there was a. Um, not a good time to be out of ammo. They don't seem to have dropped bombs. Got him. Right. Boom, 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 boom. I don't think we got much damage. We were doing some evasive maneuvers. Uh, this is giving our position away to the other ship for sure, even though they're just slightly over the horizon. We should be able to see it. One's trailing huge black plumes of smoke from the fire. Oh, there you go. Can't claim, I don't think I can claim any hits on that one. That one, however, is burning and falling out of the sky. Yes, sir. Hard to start with. Yes, sir. Oh, no, Hard she's not falling out of the sky. Well, maybe she's a controlled fall out of the sky. No, still just the one zero we shot down earlier. So we didn't get credit for that one plunging into the sea. Well, fair enough. Could be that. Could be that. <laughs> we'll go with that. Right. Um, come on. Let's get this. Right. So we think we've identified the ship. So we get the range sorted. Plug that into the computer. Right. We think she was doing eight and a half, nine and a half knots. But I've just done another speed chart. She seems to be doing eight, eight and a half. So I'm going to go down to eight because I'm not 100% sure that was perfect. An angler bow. Oh, she's turning. Right, tube one, fire. Good hit. Good hit. Right. Uh, torpedo 3 has been away. We've got tube 4, of course. Um, but she's probably going to slow down now. So let's see if tube 3 will follow in. No, tube 3 missed. However, um, she's now at a terrible angle to fire. Um, so let's um, hold tube 4 for the moment. And let's try and stalk her and see if this uh, damage will eventually take her down. Um, it's right at the bow of the ship, so we've got any holes there as she drives the engines forward to try and keep her more afloat and get the pumps working faster, pump out the water. She'll actually be driving water into those damage compartments, which is uh, hopefully going to benefit us. But we will see. The stern looks slightly higher. We said that previously on the other ship, but um, we'll say we'll stalk her, see if she uh, she's done for.
Right, she's turned. She's coming directly at us once again. Oh my god, this bloody ship. This is either a brilliant captain or just a lucky sod with his changes of course. Um, <laughs> now he's bearing down upon us. Still doing nine and a half knots, you reckon? I don't know. We might be able to get it's open tube four. Uh, we might be able to get a point blank range at this rate. At this rate. Oh, she's firing at us. Hang on. Tube four, fire. Firing at us, uh, potentially. Um, good hit, by the way. Sorry. Um, potentially. Is she going down at the front? I don't think she is. She seems to be not bulletproof. Clearly, she's burning. But um, two two torpedoes, and she seems to be fine. We've got the rear tube. Um, kind of begrudged to let her go at this point. Two hits should slow her down significantly, should do some crippling damage, but um, she still seems to be going on regardless. A little bit of time has passed, and as you can see, she's still sailing away from us. Fires are still breaking out on the bow, and the stern of the ship is definitely lifting up. She's definitely, well, I was going to say going down above the bow, but um, I think that's a little bit too optimistic. She's definitely dropping the bow down and lifting the rear up. Um, whether or not that's going to be enough to cripple her and then sink her, I don't know. She's definitely slowed, so we are able to keep up with her uh, underwater. Obviously, she's just making evasive maneuvers and turned away from us again. But yeah, I'm fairly hopeful that we might be able to get in front of her and turn the rearward tubes towards her and try and finish her off that way. Oh, she's um, spotted us. Right, uh, speed is definitely reduced. Let's say about five knots, five knots, something like that. Uh, we can probably guess this bit like that. Tube five, open the door. Fire. Okay, good hits, good hits. I think that's her done. The great rearward shot. Oh, internal explosions left, right, and center. That's her done, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a fast merchant. 9,980 tons. Oh, that was worth the bother. I was, I, at what point I was thinking of letting it go, but no. Just under 10,000 tons. Well worth it. Right. With tube 5 being reloaded with the last of our reserve torpedoes, that leaves us with two torpedoes in tube 5 and 6, the rear wood tube. So, um, we've got a couple more days, I think, to patrol this neck of the woods, and if nothing more, we will then start heading back to base. There we go. Our latest victim sinking beneath the waves. Right, we've got another sampan in the area. Bit of a warning shot there. See if we can get some um, shots around this this uh, this boat. 
Let's see if we can get a burning quite quickly. Looks impressive from here, but I don't know if it's done actually any damage to that ship whatsoever. Right, so let's use the normal deck gun then. A bit high, drop that down to 2,000 yards. No idea, I can drop it down a bit more. Waves are quite brutal. Well, there we go, there's a, there's a sail and mast off, that's probably going to be her done. Demaster, maybe. think she's probably done. Yeah, as they're here, we might as well try and finish them off. Do you reckon that'll probably do it? Can't be much left of her. There we go, I think that's probably it. There you go, nice on the waterline. Just to get it down quickly. Okay, so that should be it. There goes, ooh. Ejected the rear sail and I then just oh there we go. Beautiful. Another enemy ship. Full of something incredibly combustible. Doubt that was fish and fish oil. Um, but we've confirmed another large sampan for 80 tons. Every little helps. Oops, and the waves are building up, so let's um secure the deck gun and head inside to dry out. Right then, as the moon is lighting up the sky, it's um, 20th, 20th of August 1942, and that patrol zone F7 uh, in the Makassar Strait, do some anti-shipping activities for five days, has been completed. Huzzah. So, what we're doing, we're heading south, we're heading back to Fremantle in Australia to end our patrol, repair the boats, we've still got those dive planes that can Oh, seems to be disabled and um, we'll get our reloaded, refueled, give the crew a little bit of rest and we'll get back out to sea with new orders. So yeah, we've got a long sail back to Fremantle now. I'll see you when we get there. More, air More aircraft coming in. We've had a number of these um, Engagements. Dropping bombs on us, you dirty devil. Got him on fire anyway. Um, one of the things to report, yes, we did actually shoot down a Betty. We didn't capture that on film, but there we go. Aircraft destroyed, Mitsubishi G4M Betty, we shot that down not so long ago now, and these two zeros have just sort of closed in around us. So yeah, maybe she got a radio call away before she went down. Didn't actually see her go down, just went sort of over the horizon after we damaged it. So there must be a real haze, because as soon as they go out of uh, a little bit of range, and you lose the, uh, the smoke trail trailing from the, the burning aircraft. So, oh, I said we'd be ready for them. Maybe we won't quite be ready. For them. How is that even flying? Two fires on it. Hopefully that's enough to put her down. And after a moment's peace, confirmation: another zero shot down. Yeah, so that is. I look down. That's some um, three aircraft shot down, two zeros and one Betty. Two more aircraft kills. <laughs> will be a 
an ace. I don't know if that works quite that way with the, um, the navy, but um, yeah, that'd be quite interesting. But for now, we're going to continue this push south. It's it's getting very long and arduous because of these constant air attacks. But we will get that. We will get that. Yes, sir. We're under we got one well he's burning anyway could this be our fourth kill maybe 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 we could be an ace today he's not dead yet everyone okay so far so good Area of fire attack. Got him smoking as well. Right, both of them are burning. Could that be five kills? Probably not. There's only one fire going on that aircraft, but that is that should be enough to turn it around. Neither of these aircraft have gone down. We've just got the Betty and the uh, Zero from previously. We'll keep an eye out. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. So we can see the whites of his eyes. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Have a bit of that. Blew his wing off. Oh, and that rest of that time larking about. There we go. Another zero. Our fourth enemy aircraft kill. Hopefully our last. Well, maybe not our last, but it'd be nice to just get aim with it. Right, we're going to rock on now, quick as we can. Head south to Fremantle. A few days later, we sail into Fremantle without any further issues. So we set out on the 19th of July 1942 on this latest patrol to insert a commando team east coast of Palawan in the Philippines. We successfully completed that. We were then assigned to grid area G4 to carry out anti-shipping activities for five days. We did so. And from there on to grid F7 within designated area in Makassar Strait, further five days, anti shipping activities completed. So merchant ships sunk 11. 11! And they call it a mine. Um, no warships sunk. At total tonnage, 43,300 tons. Pretty happy with that. Rating? No rating. And boom, as we walk through the door, trumpets are put in our face and we are awarded <laughs> a medal. This is to certify the President of the United States has awarded the Navy Cross to Lieutenant Commander Buck O'Hare, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, USS Plunger, this August 25th, 1942, for extraordinary uh, heroism at, as Commanding Officer of the USS Plunger during the fourth war patrol of the vessel. The Navy Board Decorations and Medals awards the Navy Cross to Lieutenant Commander Buck O'Hare. Well, that is an honor indeed. His outstanding display of leadership, devotion to duty, and aggressiveness reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. It's my gunnery, isn't it? That's what it is. I've also got Purple Heart that I noticed. Did I pick that up this time? Uh, shiny new sub-models are constantly rolling off the assembly line as the war effort ratchets up. 
Due to your performance, you've been placed first in line to receive one of these newer models as they arrive at base. You could, however, turn it down if you prefer your current model. Do you take the new submarine and continue? Well, it's one of those things that I could put to a vote. However, I know which way you're going to vote. And it's going to be yes, you want new shiny things. So we'll go, yes please, let's have the new shiny thing. You have been given command of new submarine. Welcome into the office, everyone. Right, we've been given a new submarine. Uh, what is that new submarine? I don't know. Let's go and find out. Here it is. USS Salmon. Ooh, SS-182. The Salmon. Fantastic. Here she is, then. She looks like the others. Um, who knows what's the... I'll have to read out the difference on it. Um... In the Intel bit, we knew the basics of the previous boats, but this one looks fairly similar. No, oh, I see what the difference is. We've got four torpedo tubes at the rear. Well, well, well. She's got a wider rear, and who's not to say that's not a bad thing? Um, good. Let's move on. So, um, a fantastic patrol. 43,000 tons in total. What are we... What are we ranking out here. Buck O'Hare, 113,000 tons so far. William Brockman, 43,000. It's okay, William. I, I could pull that in a, in a patrol, to be honest. Um, but yeah, there we go. Buck O'Hare, top of the charts, 113,000 tons. Happy days. Um, let's have a look at the medals. There we go. We've got the... Um, the Navy Cross, which is fantastic. The Purple Heart, we obviously got injured. Um, we've got the Asiatic Pacific Medal, and we've got the Navy Commendation Medal. So we are certainly putting our name in the footnotes of history here. We have a new boat, USS Salmon, the Salmon class with uh, a larger rear, which um, we will hopefully use as best as we can. And we'll pick this up with a new patrol next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.